Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk to you about a new toy that we just got. It's a DeWalt seven and a quarter inch. I call them a sidewinder saw. Seems like a lot of you guys out there are very particular about the verbiage I use, so I apologize if I don't call it the proper terminology, but I will give you the model number. Hey, before we get into this video, don't forget to like our videos and don't forget to click that subscribe button. All right, this is the model DCS573, and it is a seven and a quarter inch cordless circular saw, which is actually 184 millimeters for all you metric fans out there, all right? So a couple features of this saw, it has a little rafter hook. So, you know, check that out. It'll hang right on the side of a board. I don't think that's really the designated use. It's more like for us as deck builders, right? It would be more for something like this, which is kind of a handy feature. You can also stick it on your apron. If I was wearing one, I'd show you, but I'm not, so I won't. But you know, you could probably put it in your pocket. If you wanna walk around like a cool dude. Yo, man, got my DCS714 on the side. Oh, wait, no. DCS573, my bad. But I thought I would do a couple cuts with it and show you guys what we got. So another feature I noticed, it's got onboard blade change capabilities. So you just pop your battery, which is kind of a good idea. Like they put the tool under the battery. So you have to take the battery off to get to the tool to change the blade. That's pretty smart because now you're disabling the saw, right? So no potential for hazards there. But it fits in there pretty nice. It's got a standard, it's plastic, but it's a standard uh, depth. I could see that wearing out in the future, but you know, this isn't their premium cut saw. I don't really like Sidewinders too much. I prefer a worm drive style type of saw. Um, we have a couple cordless uh, DeWalt ones. We also have a cordless Makita one floating around here somewhere. No, let's bring that over. This is more of a traditional, thank you, more of a traditional saw that we use that I prefer to frame with. They are a little heavier though and a little bulkier. Um, I'm really accustomed to, to viewing this from the left side of the saw. And uh, when I'm cutting long cuts, I usually will cut on this groove, which I noticed when I was using this saw the other day that there's a notch right here for you to see so when you're cutting this line, you line where it says zero, you line that zero up to this line and you're pretty much gonna cut money right on the line. So there is a safety switch holder. You have to push that in to get the saw to wind up. It does have an auto brake. So that works really good. Uh, there's also the guard of course and our uh, guard lever to lift the guard is already bent. So I'm not too happy about that. I'm gonna have to pull this off, straighten this out. So the parts, they're so-so. Like I said, I don't think this is really designed to be uh, a day in, day out use saw, but I know some guys that are framers that use these all the time. So I might be sticking my foot in my mouth. So anyways, let's rip this and see how it does, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a plunge cut. I'm gonna put my line, this line right here, on zero, I'm gonna put it right on my blue chalk line. I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna plunge cut right into that. You'll also notice because we have pressure treated hemlock, incised pressure treated hemlock lumber, most of these incisions, if you follow my chalk line, they're right in line with my chalk line. So I could also use those as an indicator, but I don't usually trust those. I, I like to snap and, and cut. So, okay, so here we go. So here we go, well, oh. Hold on. So always remember to wear your safety glasses, guys, okay? Safety second. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm ready to plunge. Um, so I can hear it loading up a little bit, but let's just see how well it does ripping this line. If I can see through my glasses because they're foggy now. All right, here we go. And again, I'm not gonna follow the blade on this cut. I'm gonna follow up here where I can actually see something, okay? All right. All right. All right, so there's a, I can tell there's a little bit of tension in this cut. So I'm gonna have to start from the top and then, and then rip it again.
All right, so actually it didn't do too bad. Seems like it had plenty of power to get through that cut. The blade's pretty sharp. It's fairly new saw, so, but I'm, I'm happy with that rip. It's nice and straight. Um, I'll come back and I'll cut these two sides and then we'll take a jigsaw and finish our cut with a jigsaw. So let's do that. But you gotta say, you know, for as light as this is and for the features it has, it, it is kind of a handy saw. I'll probably use this saw when I'm doing a lot of notching of decking because this thing will cut through PVC like a dream. Um, or if I have some notching to do on certain joists, the one thing that this saw will do that a standard saw will not is it tilts 45 degrees, up to 45 degrees the opposite direction that my skill saw will or my worm drive style saw will. So I do love having a saw that's, we call this a lefty versus a right-handed saw. So it'll make that cut. So those are my two takeaways I think for this particular saw is uh, it has enough power to get through the cuts I need it to. Wet, heavy, pressure treated hemlock is harder to cut through than pine because it's um, a softer wood and it's much wetter. So I think I will keep this in our arsenal. It's a little bit lighter. I can pick it up a little bit easier. It's got a nice grab handle right here, so I'm comfortable. Uh, so yeah, man, uh, go check it out. And it's a flexible uh, saw as well, so it'll take multiple different types of batteries. It'll take our big 12 amp hours if we want, and the nine amp hours, or this is an eight amp hour I have on, on here right now. Seems to work just fine. Got the Diablo blade on there. Very happy with that blade as well. There you go, guys, there's your review. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.